In this section, we're going to kind of shift just a little bit and look really quickly at how you can calculate the summary stats for raw data with a dependent t-test. So um, go back and look at using the data from uh, the example with Harry Potter um, and the Half-Blood Prince and the Order of the Phoenix. And if we were trying to get the numbers to calculate our t manually, so we were looking for our d-bar and our mu of d and our s of d, uh, from our data, we would go through and we would, first of all, of course, we need to enter our data, label our columns. And then we go under stats, T stats, and paired. And once there, we would have this dialog box. So you would sample one would be Phoenix, sample two would be Prince, and then you're going to say, click to save the differences. You're not going to do the hypothesis testing or run that for you anyhow, but we're not looking at that right now. We're just looking to get our D values. So once I have that and I select compute, you should get an output that looks something like this. And here is our column of differences, which as you can see matches the D values uh, that I had calculated that I presented up for you all earlier. So now that you have your column of differences, you would be able to go through and on your stats crunch do stats, summary, select columns, and you would select the column differences. Okay, since that's the column that we're now interested in. And when you run it, you should get the output just like this, where you can see the mean there then would be your mu of d, and your standard deviation would be your s of d. So hopefully this brief little tutorial um, helps you look at how you can take um, raw data from a set of data points and calculate the specific mu of d and s of d that you would use manually for your computations.